this week is Children's Hospice Week. It is a very important week and, and we didn't want that to pass without marking it and celebrating the amazing services that support children and their families across the country. So we're now going to go to Pull in Dorset to a place called Julia's House and we've sent Fern McCann there uh, to meet some very special people. Good morning Fern. Good morning guys, I'm here at Julia's House Children's Hospice and we're having lots of fun aren't we boys? I'm here with Elliot and Leo and we are painting a beautiful picture. We've got it all over our hands, getting really involved. Look, blub, 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 blub. You got your crown on. Now Stacey, you work here and you're kind of part of the playtime so the yeah. kids have lots of fun here. We do, we make sure every day is Disneyland, lots of fun and giggles. Amazing. Now it's much noisier than this, isn't it? Usually. But Usually very um, rowdy. If you did want to have more of a peaceful, quiet time, come with me. Now I'm going to leave you guys to finish off the painting. Now in here is the sensory room. Now little Safi's in here. Don't want to disturb you too much because this is a, a, a place for you to come and chill out and relax. But there's lots to see, beautiful colours to feel and just have a really lovely relaxing time. That's the sensory room. I'm going to get myself in there later for a chill out time. Now, on a beautiful day like this, I have to show you the outside area. Come with me. Now, to the right here is a place for the teenagers, some of the older kids to come and hang out. It's the teen hangout zone. And in here is the beautiful garden. There's so much to do here and so much to see. It's really a lovely space. Now the hospice doesn't just cater for the children with the conditions. It looks after the whole family here. Now, if you come over here, I'm joined by Angela, Ruben and family. Now, Angela, you're not only a mother to these beautiful kids, but you're a full-time carer for Reuben. But this place doesn't just look after Reuben, it looks after your whole family as well, doesn't it? Does. it? No, definitely. It's a really nice place for them to come and be children um, and, and with people that understand uh, what it's like to have a uh, yeah. disabled sibling. So you can come here, let your hair down, have fun. Yes. You have days out, is that yeah. right? Um, yeah. My favourite trip, I think, personally, is Wales. I love doing You Wales. went to Wales? Yeah. Cool. And my favourite is going on Avon Tyrrell. Oh, wicked. That sounds fun. What about you? Mine is um, Housemates. Housemates? And what? Housemates is, it's, it's Julia's house, but it's in Dorchester. Oh, cool. So you could go there and have yes. fun. That yes. sounds cool. Um, it, it's, it's sort of like this, but it's, it's much more smaller inside. Oh, cool. I, it's much more fun. So you have a great time here. Yeah, it's really yes. good fun. Cool. So also, um, sorry. Khalid had to look Sorry, up. yes, Khalid, Khalid, coming to you. So it's all hands on deck with Ruben, but Khalid, you once had to resuscitate your brother, was that right? Can you tell um, me about that? Yeah, well, we were at home and Ruben had gone really, really blue, uh, really, really pale, and he was re turning really, really bad. So, Mummy, we drove up to the hospital and I was in the back next to him, and suddenly he went blue and he stopped breathing. So I had to keep, and I blew in his face, and eventually he started breathing, and I had to wow. keep on breathing in, I had to keep on blowing into his face to keep him breathing until we got to the hospital. Yeah. Well, you're very brave, you're in a very good big, big brother, and you're an amazing family. Now, I'm not going to keep you. I know it's your birthday, Aaron. So if we come over to the playtime, all of us, if you move over here, you can see a lion with a blackboard on it. Lots of fun things to do. Cushions, ball pits. You've got a trampoline over there that I'm going to have a bounce on later. And loads of fun things to do. Now, I'm joined by lead nurse Louise Hi. here. Hi. Hi. Tell me about all the fantastic work that you do here at the hospice. Well, we're here to provide that regular respite care that actually is practical and emotional support for the family sort of day in day out and Julia's house is special because it doesn't just look after the the affected children it looks after the whole family the whole family their, their homes as well great now some people may have a misconception that children's hospices can be an upsetting and sad place but definitely doesn't seem the case here absolutely not no full of fun and laughter and joy and it's normally a very happy musical loud place really well you make an incredible difference and I wanted to thank you and your team for all the fantastic well, work that you do thanks for having me i'm gonna stay here and have some fun kids we are gonna say goodbye to everyone at home bye. say bye, bye. bye. see you later bye, bye. bye. bye.
everybody. Look at that. Look at that. Beautiful day down there, yeah. Dorset. So Julia's house looking after the affected and their families offers a respite for, mm. for them and, and what everybody's going through. Uh, it's named after Julia Perks. Julia was a paediatric nurse. She died in 1997 and she highlighted the need for facilities and services for children and their families uh, for children with life-limiting uh, illnesses in the Dorset sometimes area. Sometimes the other children can get a little bit overlooked, not intentionally, but if it's all your focus has to be on a, on a child who's sick. And, you, know, mm -hmm. you listen to that young boy, you know, can you imagine having to resuscitate your own brother in the back of the car when you're that young yourself? Yeah, I mean, yeah. amazing. And the other thing children. about hospices, remember, they all rely on voluntary contributions, yeah. all of them. Yeah.